Post Malone is having a great time with his foray into country music, and he has hinted at the possibility of another collaboration with a well-known country musician. After the release of I Had Some Help with Morgan Wallen, the rapper and singer is dropping hints about a new song that they will be working on together with Blake Shelton. When Post Malone shared a preview of a new song with Shelton yesterday, the 24th of May, he was seen grooving along with the tune and pouring himself a drink while he was harmonizing with Shelton. During the new partying anthem, the two individuals sing, Somebody pour me a drink. Somebody bum me a smoke. They then proceed to sing, I'm about to get on a buzz slash, I'm about to get on a roll slash, I've been breaking my back. Just keeping up with the Joneses slash, you all know what I mean, you all know how it goes. Shelton responded to the video that Post Malone had posted by using an emoji that depicted eyes that were staring suspiciously sideways. On the social media platform X, which was once known as Twitter, Shelton shared a video of himself dancing along to the teaser that Post Malone had released. Gwen Stefani, who is also a musician, responded to the teaser that Post Malone posted by writing, Can't handle this much amazing and sweet. Excellent news for fans. Post Malone debuted a gorgeous new song, titled Never Love You Again, at the American Country Music Awards held the previous week. This song is a tragic step in the direction of more traditional country music. Without a doubt, there is also the song I Had Some Help, and the singer made an appearance on the song Levy's Jeans by Bianca, which was included on her album Cowboy Carter. During his recent performance at the Stagecoach Festival, Post Malone invited special guests Brad Paley, Dwight Yoakam, and Sarah Evans to join him for a set of country covers. The songs that were performed included White House Road, Check Yes or No, Be My Baby Tonight, Don't Take the Girl, Who's Your Daddy, and Three Wooden Crosses. Post Malone announced in November that he was working on a country album and expected to release it in the near future. Fans asked the chemical singer and rapper if he would venture into country music, and he responded by saying, Country record is coming. The statement was made during a Twitch broadcast. I remember singing a song that we made while I was in Nashville, and it's so fucking sick, but it's not out yet. I was in Nashville at the time. We made such sick music down in Nashville, he said, revealing that he has been in the studio working on two different albums. It is unknown whether either of the records is related to country music. Wow, that was a lot of fun. In the ever-evolving landscape of modern music, few artists can claim to be as versatile and boundary-defying as Post Malone. Known for his unique blend of hip-hop, rock, and pop influences, Malone has consistently pushed the envelope, creating a sound that is distinctly his own. However, in recent months, the multi-platinum artist has taken an unexpected detour into the realm of country music, much to the delight of fans and critics alike. With rumors swirling about a potential collaboration with country superstar Blake Shelton, the music world is abuzz with anticipation. It all began with a simple Instagram post. Clad in a cowboy hat and strumming an acoustic guitar, Post Malone shared a snippet of a country ballad he had been working on. The caption read, just having some fun with a little country tune. What do you all think? The reaction was immediate and overwhelmingly positive. Fans flooded the comments with praise, urging the artist to explore this new direction further. Malone's love for country music is no secret. In interviews, he has often cited his admiration for legendary artists like Johnny Cash and Willie Nelson. Growing up in Texas, he was exposed to the genre from an early age, and its influence can be heard in the storytelling and emotional depth of his lyrics. However, it wasn't until recently that he began to seriously consider incorporating country elements into his music. The turning point came during a charity Livestream concert, where Malone performed a set of country classics alongside country music icons. His rendition of Brad Paley's I'm Gonna Miss Her and a heartfelt cover of Bob Dylan's Don't Think Twice, it's All Right showcased his impressive vocal range and genuine affinity for the genre. The performance garnered widespread acclaim, with many praising his ability to seamlessly transition between genres. Encouraged by the positive feedback, 
Malone decided to delve deeper into his country roots. He spent several weeks in Nashville, the heart of country music, writing and recording with some of the industry's top songwriters and producers. The experience, he later recounted, was both humbling and inspiring. There's something really special about Nashville, Malone said in an interview. The people, the energy, the history, it's all so rich and vibrant. I felt a real connection to the music and the community there. It was during this national sojourn that the idea of a collaboration with Blake Shelton first emerged. Shelton, a towering figure in country music with numerous chart-topping hits and a long-standing role as a coach on The Voice, had always been a fan of Malone's work. The two artists crossed paths at a local bar where they struck up a conversation about their shared love of music and the possibility of working together. Blake's an incredible artist and a genuinely great guy. Malone said, We hit it off right away, and before we knew it, we were talking about making some music together. The prospect of such a collaboration was tantalizing, and the two artists wasted no time in heading to the studio to begin experimenting with ideas. The resulting sessions were nothing short of magical. Blending Malone's distinctive melodic sensibilities with Shelton's traditional country twang, the songs they created were a perfect fusion of their respective styles. One track in particular, tentatively titled Rust and Roses, quickly became a favorite. With its hauntingly beautiful lyrics and soaring harmonies, the song encapsulated the best of both artists, offering a glimpse into the unique synergy they had discovered. As word of the collaboration spread, excitement among fans reached fever pitch. Social media was ablaze with speculation about what the final product would sound like, with many predicting that it could be a game-changer for both artists. The potential for crossover appeal was immense, and industry insiders were already touting the project as one of the most anticipated releases of the year. Shelton, for his part, was equally enthusiastic about the collaboration. In a candid interview, he spoke about the creative process and the joy of working with Malone. Post is an incredible talent. Shelton said, he's got this amazing ability to blend different genres and make it all sound so natural. Working with him has been a blast, and I think we've created something really special. I can't wait for people to hear it. The collaboration with Shelton marked a significant milestone in Malone's journey into country music, but it was just the beginning. Buoyed by the success of their sessions, Malone announced plans to release a full-length country album, featuring a mix of original songs and covers of classic country hits. The project, he explained, was a labor of love and a tribute to the genre that had always held a special place in his heart. I've always had a deep appreciation for country music, Malone said. It's about storytelling, raw emotion, and real-life experiences. This album is my way of honoring that tradition and sharing a different side of myself with my fans. The announcement was met with widespread acclaim, with many praising Malone's willingness to explore new musical territories. Critics noted that his venture into country music was a natural evolution, given his eclectic influences and genre-defying approach to music. For fans, it was a welcome opportunity to see their favorite artist in a new light, exploring themes and sounds that were both familiar and refreshingly different. As anticipation for the album grew, Malone continued to tease snippets of new material on social media, each post generating a wave of excitement and speculation. From heartfelt ballads to upbeat anthems, the snippets showcased the breadth of his talent and hinted at the diverse range of influences that had shaped the project. In the lead-up to the album's release, Malone and Shelton embarked on a mini-tour, performing a series of intimate shows at iconic country venues across the United States. The performances were a revelation, with both artists delivering electrifying sets that showcased their chemistry and musical prowess. For many fans, it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience, a chance to witness two of the industry's biggest stars coming together in a celebration of music and creativity. The tour culminated in a sold-out show at Nashville's legendary Ryman Auditorium, a venue steeped in country music history. The atmosphere was electric, with fans packing the historic hall to witness the culmination of Malone's country music journey. From the moment the lights dimmed 
and the first chords rang out, it was clear that the night would be unforgettable.